Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to thank you, Chairman Bentz and, and Ranking Member Huffman, for having this important hearing today. I appreciate the opportunity to come before you today to discuss my bill, the Red Snapper Act. Listen, I, I represent Northeast Florida in over 30 miles of pristine coastline. And I can tell you Northeast Florida's economy has been shaped by our coastal resources and our active fishing community depends on access to our fisheries. Our fishing economy is made up of more than just the anglers that go out on the water. It's also the bait shops, the marinas, the gear and boat manufacturers and retailers, restaurants, hotels, and many, many other downstream businesses. And the way we manage our fisheries affects all of these businesses. And now, I, I know this committee is no stranger to fishery management uh, challenges, and especially when it comes to red snapper. Now, and as you know, red snapper is a very prized fish for both commercial and recreational anglers. And for the last 10 years, stakeholders in the South Atlantic have been successfully rebuilding the red snapper stock. And according to the most recent stock assessment, Atlantic red snapper is more abundant today than anyone alive has ever seen. However, instead of celebrating this success, we're here because they, there have been draconian and punitive proposals made to managing uh, the stock. And the record number of red snapper on the reefs are driving increased encounters, which then lead to increased discards. And these discards are then drive, that data is then driving the overfishing assumptions, which has caused extremely short red snapper seasons and frustrated many of our anglers. Uh, in fact, this year, despite the growing stock, the recreational red snapper system our season was two days, two days. Now, I was lucky enough, and, and, and let me say this, that creates a dangerous situation too when you have a two-day season and you've got thousands of boats trying to go out at the same time. You wind up with fights at the dock. You wind up with, you know, everybody's running out of gear. Uh, so that creates a problem in itself. But I was lucky enough this year to be able to go out on one of those days and we caught our limit in about 45 minutes. Uh, there were five of us on the boat, which meant we got to catch five, and it took about 45 minutes. We spent twice as much time, Mr. Chairman, going to and from our spot than we actually did fishing. And while short seasons are frustrating, they are not even the most extreme management strategy that's been discussed in the South Atlantic, and this is why we're really here. Following the latest stock assessment, NOAA has proposed area and time closures of bottom fishing to reduce out-of-season red snapper catches. Bottom closures would have severe and irreversible consequences. These closures threaten to devastate the very same anglers that have worked in good faith to rebuild the stock for the last 10 years. In fact, those reefs that those fish are on, our, our American sport fishermen are the ones that built those reefs. Uh, they weren't there before. Now, fortunately, after significant pushback from the fishing community, these closures were not included in the amendment to the council ultimately passing. However, closures are still on the table as a long-term solution. That's why I'm here. Over the last four years, Congress has appropriated in a bipartisan fashion $5 million for an independent study of red snapper stock in the South Atlantic. Now, moving straight to closures before we get the results from the South Atlantic red snapper count defies common sense. If closures are implemented, Northeast Florida would surely take the brunt of the impact. Mr. Chairman, all my bill says is don't close the bottoms until we get this count in and it's used in the determination of the red snapper stock that is down there. Uh, if these closures are in, implemented, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very difficult in, in my district. Uh, the reefs off northeast Florida are home to a very large population of these red, these red snapper. In fact, I've had divers tell me that, that Mr. Chairman, the, the, the red snapper down there is so thick you can walk across their backs. Uh, nobody wants to preserve the red snapper stock more than these anglers. Instead of punishing them with bottom closures, let's look at innovative management strategies like we've seen in the Gulf of Mexico and continue to improve our data 
about this fish stock. I appreciate the committee's attention to this important issue, and I look forward to continuing to work with you to balance the protection of our fisheries with the access to this important natural resource. And I thank you for having me here today, and I, I yield back.